everybody. My name is Jonathan and welcome to Barely Unboxed. And today we are doing a Thundercats video and I have always loved the Thundercats since I saw it when I was a little kid. <laughs> and these figures, I have Snarf and I have a Lion-O and I also have a third one which is the Mirror Lion-O. And both Lionos came in a cardboard box like this. And then like that is the UPC for the mirror one, which I will take out of the box here in a second. And then this was the box that the Lion-O came in. And there is his barcode. Now these are made by Super 7 uh, in conjunction with Warner Brothers, who owns Thundercats. And these are basically replicas from the original cartoon from the 80s. And the cartoon has had a couple more versions since then. There was one in the 2000s that was actually really good, but no one apparently watched it. <laughs> I did. And they canceled it because the toys weren't selling well, which is really sad. Uh, but anyway, then they came out with another one that I'd rather not even talk about. <laughs> I'm trying to even remember the name of it. And it, it was basically like Thundercats meets Teen Titans Go. And it was just really weird. So anyway. <laughs> so these also come with a slipcase. Now Snarf here. Um, here's his barcode. He did not come with a cardboard box like this for some reason. Um, so I thought we would open both of these because these just slip right off like this. Uh, but anyway, I thought we would open both of these together because they kind of go together. When I was a kid, if you bought the lion -O figure, he came with a snarf figurine buddy and I always wanted that but I never got it as a kid and so now I'm gonna have my own fully posable snarf now I did order this a while back and I was a little disappointed with his main head the eyes are a little wonky <laughs> and I contacted super 7 about it and they offered to send me this mirror one and at the time I was like, no, I don't really want that one because this one is a different color. And so I just said, no, nah, that's fine. I'll just live with this one because he does have an alternate head, which looks fine. He's just very angry. <laughs> um, but I got this one on sale right before Christmas from Amazon for a really good deal. And I realized... Here is, that's this mirror, and it has the snake symbol, because this is basically uh, Mumra in disguise as lion -O. So, anyway, they, I thought they had, like, the same skin color, and it looks like they're very similar uh, skin tones. So I'm hoping I can use the heads from this one on this one because this one has like the regular nice looking head. So we'll find out. Now I've never opened a Super 7 figure before. These are, these are the Ultimates series which they make all kinds of figures for. They make Teen Teenage Ninja Turtle ones I believe. I think it's them who makes those. Now I'm questioning it. But anyway, they they make a lot of different uh, action figures. So this does have some tape that you need to cut. And we're going to start with Lino. And let me show you the back of this because it has a really cool uh, group portrait of the whole team. And if you want to read that, you can pause the video. If you don't know what Thundercats is, and welcome to the world of Thundercats. They are basically aliens from another planet who get 
to uh, escape their planet and land on another planet, and then they eventually call that home. So here he is out of the box. He comes with quite a few accessories. He comes with multiple um, uh, gloves, like the gauntlets, and he comes with... This one looks like it has the sword sticking out of it, which he does keep in that. Then this one is the sword, and the sword is even painted on both sides. Look at that. And then, then he also has alternate hands, and he comes with this book. And I'm, it's been a while since I've watched the Thundercats, so I'm not sure what the book is. Probably an ancient Thundaran book. So this is going to be really loud <laughs> to unbox these. So I'm going to actually unbox all of them because they're pretty easy to get out. And then we'll review them. And I'll try and see if the heads can swap and we'll have fun with that. But I don't think I finished my thought earlier. Well, anyway, Snarf comes with another glove and the short sword uh, that go with Lino. So I thought it'd be cool to unbox both of them together. So let me get these out of their packaging and we'll be right back. All right, we're back and I got them all out of the box. They have so many accessories. It's a little overwhelming to be honest. Now I did use a hair dryer to warm them up to be able to move all their joints because they were really, really stiff. And I was afraid if I didn't do that, they might snap. Now the hands are really rubbery on these. So here is the original Lino. And he has the glove with the sword coming out of it and it attaches right there. Now this is like the cartoon style um, gauntlet glove. I can't remember the actual name of this. Hmm. I'm sure it has a name. <laughs> this is the Sword of Omens. I do know that. Now this sword, as far as I can tell, does not come out of here. It's just a decoration. And then he does have lots of articulation. His head um, moves all around. He has a chest joint. He has the bicep joint and the shoulder joints. And he has an elbow joint and the hands have a joint. And all the hands are and they're interchangeable. The waist turns. The legs can go out and back and up. And the foot can move side to side and up and down. So you can get some really nice poses. Not only that, but the boot spins. Now I did notice that I think this one might be an original version, whereas this one I think is an updated version. So this mirror version of Lino, he, um, his gripping hands aren't quite as rubbery as these hands, but he does come with similar hands and they're also not as rubbery, which is kind of interesting. So they must have updated it. And also they updated this so the leg actually spins at the knee. See that? Spins at the knee and at the boot. So that's even more dynamic poses that you could get with him. Um, also the faces on these are very different. I definitely like this one better than this one, but I like the hair on the original one a little better. It has more detail. This kind of just looks like it's just red. It does have some detail in it, but it's kind of hard to see. So there's the differences between those. And they both have the same type of glove with the sword. The swords are slightly different. And I don't know if that plays into the cartoon 
or not. Uh, it might just be a variation of color because of manufacturing. I'm not really sure. So I want to see if I can swap their two heads and see if the colors aren't too negligible because they are, I think, a little bit different. And we're gonna, we're just gonna retire the wonky eyed head for now. Okay. So there he is with that head, which actually, it looks fine. Like I can't really tell. So we'll, we'll keep that one on him for now. Now I do want to give this other figure, oops, I'm putting everything around, one of these other faces. So here's the other two. This is the one that came with the mirror, Lion-O. And this is the one that came with the normal Lion-O. I really like this one. It has like really cool paint detail. So I think we're gonna actually use this one from him on the mirror one. I also noticed the pegs on these are different. So I don't think these actually work. Now that I'm putting the other head on here, the peg hole is completely different. It goes up further on one of them than it does. So he actually looks like he doesn't have a neck. <laughs> so unfortunately, I guess we're not going to do that. So we'll just leave this head with the ball. Yeah, see, now he looks like he has a, a neck. So we'll, we'll keep that on him. So that's a word of warning if you want to try to swap the parts between these. Um, they're not going to quite work because the pegs are different. So there might be an updated version of the original Lino. In fact, I think, I think there probably is. Okay, so there's, there's that head on him. So that looks pretty cool. I like that. Now, the glove can come off like that. It has a little peg that it attaches to. And then this particular one came with a glove that's doing the whole claw grappling thing that he can do. So that's cool. And these actually just attach like it's a like it's part of the arm. It doesn't actually go over the hand, which is actually kind of cool. And then his sword, the mirror sword, is different than the other sword. So the mirror one is like a light blue and the original one is a darker blue. Other than that, they look pretty much the same. Uh, this one's more shiny than this one though. So, so this is definitely an upgrade all around. Now let's try taking his hand, oh, oh, Snarf just fell over. We'll look at Snarf here in a second because he's pretty much my favorite of all the three of these. So these gloves are interesting. This one is gripping, I think, so he can hold the sword, and this one is not. And these are all the same hand. And then these two look like actual fur, so they're more realistic, which is kind of cool. And this one, the sword is buried deeper inside there, so you can't see the eye of Thandara on the sword. I think that's what that's called. So that's very interesting. So let's put these heads back here. So we're not going to use those. Now let's try putting one of these gloves on. Oh, well, okay. So this is the glove that came with 
um, snarf, and it has the sword that can go actually come in and out of it. And I'm not really sure what, I think it's just that's all it is. It doesn't attach to anybody. Um, this is the one that attaches to him. So let's try that. You just pop this hand off. That came off really, really easily. And then you pop the new one on. And there you have it. He's wearing the glove. So that's, that's pretty cool. And then you can give him the sword in the other hand. So there we have him holding the sword. And he did come with um, a more gripping hand for like a better hold on the sword, but I actually really like the way that looks. And then he also came with, um, well actually, yeah, he just came with kind of like multiple gripping hands. It's kind of interesting. I don't really, don't really know what the difference is. Here's, these kind of look like the same hand to me. Are those the same hand? I swear those are the same hand and they all came with the same one because we have all of the hands here that came with the mirror one, but he actually came with fists. And there's a lot of hands. <laughs> we have lots of hands, and these hands are all almost the same color, so I think you could interchange them. And then here's this book. Now this does not open. It looks like it should, but it does not. It's just one piece, but it is painted very nicely with lots of detail, and it's like a gold color. All right, so let's put him there and give him his sword. Now these gripping hands are kind of difficult to get the sword in. So maybe we'll try this one, which is the same hand. There we go. All right, and then we'll give him one of his gloves too. We'll give him the one with the grapple thing going on. There we go. Yeah, he doesn't want to hold on to that sword quite as well with that hand. But there's that. <laughs> It's coming at ya. That's pretty cool. And you can get some really cool poses with these if you really try. So like, yeah, these are really nice. I really like all the um, articulation on these. They are very, uh, very articulated and I love that when action figures come with lots of articulation now I didn't show you these boxes but you you can kind of see it has artwork on the back of them and oh, I can't get him to stand up now there we go all right now let's take a look at snarf so Snarf comes with a tail that can let him stand and because he does that on the cartoon a lot. And the tail is completely posable. His head is completely posable. Uh, his hands and his elbows and his um, shoulders. He does not have a bicep because he's really small. And then his legs do have a knee joint, but it's kind of just very limited motion and then his feet also turn and go up and down and then you pull this tail off I think right here 
and then you can give him the other tail which you can hear that is very hard to get in <laughs> so warming these up with a hair dryer before you do that also would work really well so there he is with that tail he is very cute and then he does have multiple heads so I'll put this one on him maybe <laughs> there we go uh, this one he's like smiling it's very cute and then he also has an angry face <laughs> and he does come with a bag which does have some detail to it. Um, he came with the claw with the short sword that can come out. And he came with four hands. And there are various gripping hands and whatnot. Uh, and then he also came with this fruit. So let's try to get him to hold that fruit. So you just take his hand off and he does have like a grippy, like a large grippy hand. Let's see how easy these come off. Okay, those come off really, really easily. I like that. All right, now let's see if he can hold this fruit. Oh yes, he can. That is really cool. And he's very happy. <laughs> he's gonna eat a fruit. This is definitely a really, really cute figure. Um, now let's see, can we get him to stand up on his feet? Like these legs are very kind of bizarre the way they pose. So I think he's more meant to pose with that tail or you can pull, pose him on all fours maybe. Okay, so you can get him to stand up like that. So that's that's not too bad. I do wish the legs kind of went in a little more to get a better pose. Now, can we get him to go, oops, his hand popped right out. So be careful with these. They, they don't stay in too well. I know on the cartoon, he often crawls around on all fours, but it doesn't look like we can really get that pose <laughs> with this one, which is fine. Um, I really like the detail on his, his face though. It was really, really cute. So here's the bag in which you can hold like that. And I believe it's full of these fruits. <laughs> um, that's what I'm going to say. I'm, I'm sure it's probably full of these fruits. Now let's see what these look like next to each other. So that's not too bad. The scale is pretty much exactly like the cartoon. Um, I love that. This is a pretty, pretty cool figure. Now, it's probably hard to see in the camera, maybe, but his fingernails are painted white. So, yeah. So that's actually a really cool detail as well. Now, I don't know if he can hold this book. Okay, so he can hold the book in that claw hand. So that's kind of cool. I like it when figures can hold all their accessories. When they can't, then it feels like they failed. You know? Let's give him this sword. So that's cool. I really like both of these versions. I will say I like the paint job better on this original 
lino and the mirror one, the hair could be painted a little better. But now let me show you these real quick before I sign out. Here is Snarf's artwork on his box, and you can read about him. His, his actual name is Osbert, but he prefers to be known as Snarf. <laughs> and so you can pause that and read it if you want to. And then this talks about how the mere version of Lino is just the villain Mumra in a disguise. So... I do remember that episode of the cartoon as well. So cartoon is one of those cartoons that has an amazing theme song, an amazing intro. And I think a lot of people know it, even if they didn't watch the cartoon. So one last thing I want to do before I sign out is can we get a pose where he's holding the sword, let me see, nothing for the right hand, where he's, oops, that's the wrong one, this one, where he's holding the sword up in front of his eyes, because that is something he would do in the cartoon. So that's the grippy hand holding the sword. It does hold it up better than than the uh, the hand that was on him all right so here we go that's pretty good I like that and then he says Thundercats ho <laughs> and they all come running and save the day so there you have it these three figures are pretty cool uh, I will say they can be a little pricey the Super 7 figures but they are pretty well made uh, other than that one wonky face all the other faces look really nice and despite how small he is, he comes with a lot of accessories because I think he's pretty much the same price as, as all the other ones. And I wasn't planning on collecting too many of these. I just mainly wanted to get Snarf and Lino. <clears throat> and I might get a couple other characters, like maybe Panthro. Uh, Panthro is the Panther one here on the here. Uh, I wouldn't mind just getting the main characters that are all here. Um, and maybe Mumra too, but especially Wily Kid and Wily Cat, which they only have one of them. This is Wily Kit. Wily Cat is his sister. And then that's Jaga, I believe, Tigra, Chitara, Panth. Panthra, or wait, not Panthra. <laughs> Panthro. <laughs> and then we have Snarf. So, I definitely will do more videos of these if I get more. Uh, but for now, I'm probably going to go back to doing a lot of what I normally do. <laughs> I do have some act other action figures I want to open up. And we'll look at those uh, in the coming month or two. Uh, one of them is a Deadpool action figure that I've been wanting to open. So, anyway, here you got Lino and Snarf and Mir Lino. Definitely recommend these if you have the money. Pick them up. Maybe they're on sale. Uh, I do have a cat in here with me right now. He wanted to hang out with me while I opened my Thundercats. And now he wants to leave, of course. So I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did, please give it a like. Uh, if you're not subscribed yet, please consider subscribing and hit that bell for notifications. I put videos out every week, and uh, most of the time Fridays and Wednesdays. And I really appreciate everyone uh, taking the time to comment. Yeah, please leave a comment. 
uh, if you have something to say. And let me know what you like about these figures. Or maybe even don't like. <laughs> so, thank you guys for watching. I love you guys. See you later. Bye.